firstly, I have to say it's not typical for us to interview the owner of the property we're taking to the market. However, this is an exceptional property and Philip Aldridge has very kindly offered to tell us some of the wonderful stories behind the home. First of all, Philip, Cashmere House. I see it on the plaque over the fireplace. Where did the name come from? Uh, it was the original uh, farm and original settlement on the hill. So the, the homestead was the, um, the, the, the base of the farm. And this was a much, much larger house, um, which was Yes, I do, I do believe there was a, <laughs> there was a wee a bit of a sad too. story. So in 1942, the New Zealand government uh, defence forces uh, commandeered the house. What can you tell me happened beyond well, that? What had happened um, during the war was that they, they um, created a command centre, a secret command centre underneath the house. Um, in these hills. Um, so it was blasted out secretly at night um, and the whole of Kashmir apparently would shake. And This was to be the secret command center of government in the South Island in case of Japanese invasion. But the war came to an end before they'd finished the, um, the tunnels or the command center. And so they handed the property back to the family um, uh, and had a party on the last night, which must have been a hell of a party because they burnt the house down. Oh dear. However, that created the birth of the 1946 Heathcote Helmore home that we sit in today, which is quite remarkable. And for me, I've never seen the original steel doors that we see here. A wonderful feature. But for you, Philip, there must be features that you've appreciated, and I know you've done a lot of wonderful improvements in your 14 years. Um, yeah, we've done, we done a lot. We, we, the house was um, completely reconfigured and rebuilt after the um, earthquake um, and that work was done in 2012-2013 um, and we took that opportunity to um, add some improvements. For me, I couldn't help but notice the radiator system. I know there's insulation upstairs now, so it really is a cosy home with this absolutely quintessential character cashmere exterior. Now I have to ask, Philip, what is your favourite room in the entire house? It's probably this because the, the, the gardens are, are very unusual up on the hill because we've got a lot of flat land. Yes. So it's actually, this leads out into the gardens from two sets of double doors and overlooks um, the, the Alps, the Southern Alps, um, looking out to the west here. Yeah, we really do have the best of both worlds in this home. Built 1946, but it has spaces and rooms that you just wouldn't typically see in a 2020 home. Yes, they 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 built for comfort. And with the, with the main bedroom suite, which which has its you know the, the bathroom and a dressing room, and then a sitting room as well. Um, and we don't seem to no. provide that sort of space anymore. Well, we don't. We don't have the space, and the cost gets extended. And I'm kind of wondering, you must find it very difficult to head to the office each day. <laughs> well, I have a very lovely office as well. <laughs> yes, you do. I've been there. <laughs> I hope so. That's not so hard. <laughs> um, yes, and, and there are lovely, lovely features, um, like a, a very unusual staircase, um, which I presume was designed by Hethgate Helmore himself, the um, renowned architect. But it's, it's a sort of arts and crafts feel, which is, you know, a, really a different period to 1946 um, and quite I'm, unusual. I don't, I've never yeah. seen anything like it. I've never seen one in a home in Christchurch and I've lived here all my life. It is a particularly um, standout feature which I know everyone will get to enjoy. Um, oh, well the gardens are, are magnificent and the terraces. Um, so that, that's very special and, and, and the, you know, a great deal of flat lawn as well. It was a wonderful place to bring up children. Now Philip, you have forgotten the obvious. You live here every day. Now, one of those key elements you've loved has to be the view. Oh, yes. Well, it is. I mean, they, they, um, because it was the first house on the hill, they chose the best position for it. So we're just in the lee of a smaller hill um, you know, next to the, the big Kashmir Hill. Um, so we've got the, the perfect view down the Southern Alps, all the way down, and then all the way north. Um, up to the Kaikoras uh, and out to Pegasus Bay. So it is, it is an extraordinary panorama. You're going to miss it. Yeah, yeah. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're going to love this property. It's absolutely exceptional. We just don't see properties like this every year. Sometimes it could be a decade before a property of this 
magnitude and quality and serenity comes to the market in Christchurch. You will love it. Have a look through.